Hello and welcome to a new episode of Review. Today we will take a closer look at an Airbus A319-100 in the colors of Scandinavian Airlines. And as always we start off with the box and here we have a very nice image of the aircraft and the Scandinavian Airlines branding. Now on the back side of the box we then have the image once more. We can see the original dimensions of the aircraft and some additional information. So let's take a closer look inside the box. And here she is, the beautiful A319 in these very nice looking colors, the retro color of Scandinavian Airlines celebrating the 60th anniversary of the airline. In fact, this is just about 10 years old now, as in fact the airline is now celebrating its 70th anniversary. So let's take a closer look at the aircraft. And as always, we start off with the tail section of the aircraft, and here we can see on the vertical stabilizer the SAS branding. Then on the fuselage, we have the full registration code of the aircraft, and we do also have the three flags of the countries that own this airline. It's still a state-owned airline. That's Denmark, Norway, and Sweden. Then, if we move from the back of the aircraft all the way to the front of the aircraft, along the fuselage, we can see the writing of Scandinavian Airlines System, which of course is the original name of the airline today. They just brand themselves as Scandinavian Airlines. Then we have a very nice blue and red line across the fuselage, and just under the cockpit windows, we have the name of the aircraft. In this case, it's the Christian Valdemar Viking, or as you would pronounce it in English, Viking. And of course, all Scandinavian Airlines are traditionally named after Vikings. Then if we take a look at the wings, you could have a few more details, to be honest, but the highlight of the aircraft is, of course, the livery, not so much the rest of the details. But also on the underside, we have a few details, including the full registration code of the aircraft. And if we then take a quick look at the engine nacelles, we can see here also the SAS branding on them and the nacelles itself and the engines look actually pretty decent. And then last but not least, we do of course also have the doors to the cargo compartment as we can see them right here. Now it's always great to see some retro liveries on aircrafts, especially when they look as great as this one. And in my opinion, this is definitely one of the best retro liveries we can find out there at the moment. But what is your favorite? favorite retro livery at the moment let me know in the comment section below and with that we have reached the end of today's episode now if you have enjoyed feel free to leave a like or if you're new around here why not hit subscribe that would be absolutely awesome and don't miss out on the next episode of review where we will take a closer look at an Airbus A310 300 in the colors of Iran Air now until then thank you very much for watching hope to see you soon again I'm checking out and bye